Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So with everything going on in the world at the moment, we are mostly tied to our phones now and on social media like all the time. So in this video, we are trying to up our Instagram images by creating this photo manipulation in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up our application. For this tutorial, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 and this is the image I'm using right here. So um, as you can see, this image is very dark. The only light we had in this shot was the light coming out of the smartphone he was holding and you can see that there's a lot of noise in the image as well. But anyway, this is a tutorial so we are just going to be using that. This is not the actual image I used though, um, the one I used is much better than this but uh, I don't know where I kept it so I'm just going to go with this one. Anyway, so the first thing I did was I'm going to duplicate the background so Control J or just click and drop onto the new layer icon which is right here. Then I'll go into the camera raw presets or options. Just go to sorry, go to filter and click on camera raw filter. You can also use Control Shift A. Now once it came up, I just went into the HSL adjustment. I went to saturations and I just turned down the orange because uh, the face is very orangey um, sometimes it's also yellow so I just turn them down so that uh, the red color can pop much better now you can see that uh, for this the lips are a bit red so it is also showing so I'll probably turn that down as well so something like this is looking quite okay so I think I'll just go with this and I'll also come into the basic and I'll increase the exposure I should probably just leave it like that. I rather reduce the highlights a little bit about negative 30. The shadows are going to come up slightly. The blacks are also going to go down by negative 10. And the texture, I'm going to reduce it because there's so much noise. I'm just going to reduce the texture to about negative 30 and just click on OK. Now, if you take a closer look, this is the before and the after. I think the after is looking much better. So I'm going to create a new document, go to file, go to new, and I'm going to set um, the preset to pixels. The width is going to be 500 by 500, so the height is also 500. The resolution, I'm just going to leave it at that and create a blank document like this. So the first thing is to grab our rectangle, sorry, our rounded rectangle too. So I just click on that right here. Make sure that it's set to fill and the stroke is set to none. Um, now I have the radius set to 10. I'll probably increase it to about 20. Um, but let's just draw and see how it is looking like before we continue. So um, yeah, I think 20 is looking quite okay. So I'll place this uh, somewhere around here, something like this. And I'll just comment OK up here. Then I'll go to the shapes options and click on polygon tool. Make sure that the size is set to 4. You can also use 3 but I prefer using 4. And the weight and height you can leave it as basically anything. We'll just use the move tool to readjust any part you made a mistake. So over here I'm going to make it much smaller. So something like this is okay. Now you can see that everything I have here is pretty much at the center. That's what I'm trying to align. Now we go to the shapes tool again. This time around we'll be grabbing the custom shape tool. Click on this arrow right here and select the heart shape and just draw a heart like so. You can hold down the shift key so that it doesn't deform like this. So I think about this big is okay. Now that color is also red so I'll double click on the thumbnail because it is a shape and select a white color and click on okay. Now use the move tool to bring this also at the center like so. So basically that is it for this. Um, I'm going ahead to select all of these using the shift key and clicking. Right click and go to rasterize layers. And once I've done that, I right click one more time and go to merge layers. Now this will allow me to click, bring it onto this document and drop it here. Now I have the image here as well. So I'll go ahead and close this up. We don't need it anymore. So you basically be placing this at random places on your image. But before that, um, let's quickly crop in some of this area. 
so i have my ratio set to 7.5 by 9 and i'll just you don't have to do this i'm just trying to make everything look pretty okay so we are going to keep the original copy somewhere here and we are just going to be duplicating it now to duplicate you can always use ctrl j click and drag onto the new layer icon to duplicate or just select the move tool and hold down the alt key now once you hold down the alt key the arrow changes into a double arrow white and black now once you see that you'll be able to click and drop this anywhere and it is just going to create a duplicate for you so that's what i'm going to be using so i'll place the first one um, somewhere around here and make it quite big and once i do that i'll hold down the control key and move over to the edge without leaving the control key i'll just try to deform this um, as much as possible so something like this is okay and i'll comment okay here now holding down the alt key again i'll click on this and click and drag and put it somewhere around here again hold down the control key and deform it to something like this now try to keep in mind that the object should look a little bit three-dimensional so if it is something like this you shouldn't be placing it up on top because it looks like the direction in which this hat or this image is moving is towards the top so it shouldn't be over at the top it should be somewhere at the bottom here because it is moving up so in case um, i brought it here then that would mean the direction should look something like this because it is facing down okay so i'll quickly undo using ctrl z on my keyboard then i'll come back to the original again i'll duplicate and place another one here this time I'll let's make it quite big hold down the control key and deform it to i don't know something like this should be okay and let's duplicate a couple of other times uh deform make it smaller do one more time this time I'll let's make it quite small deform again now i think six of these is okay so that last one i'll place it somewhere around here also make it uh, a bit smaller and try to stretch it out like so so um basically that is it um but we are not done so what i did was um i'll select every shape i have here right click and go to convert to smart object and i'll be explaining to you why i did this in a couple of seconds so what this allows me to do is at any point in time when i apply some form of effect to it once it is a smart object i'll be able to change the effect without actually affecting the original image so what this means is i can go to filter go to blur and click on gaussian blur and i can blur this up to about 50 and click on ok if it was a rasterized image let me quickly just show you right click rasterize image so if it was a rasterized image once i blur this up i can't do anything with this anymore unless i create it one more time so i'll quickly undo now since it is a smart object i'll go to filter blur gaussian blur blur it about 15 and you can see that i can even turn off the blur from here so at any point in time when i think that 50 is too much i can just double click on gaussian blur and change it to about two and that is going to also change here without affecting the image so um, for the one so huge here i'll make it about 15 um for this huge one Control alt f to apply the last filter and i'll make this 20 the short key is also here alt Control f so the last filter was gaussian blur so it will apply gaussian blur if it was high pass or um, field blur is going to apply that so i'll select this one make it about 10 because it's closer to the subject select this i'll make it about five select this Control alt f make this also about five and i'll make this about 15. so basically that is it this is how the image is looking like anyway thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is theo from philo concepts and i'll talk to you guys in the next one